Early Tuesday morning, 911 was dialed from the Oregon State University campus in Corvallis, Oregon. A passerby noticed smoke coming from the old boiler house in the corner of Benton and Washington. Oregon State troopers in the Corvallis Fire Department rushed to the scene, quickly followed by an ambulance when a man was discovered unconscious in the building. A boiler exploded due to as-of-yet unknown causes. The fire department extinguished the existing fire rapidly and isolated the gas to the building. At this moment in time, it appears that this incident is unrelated to the electrical fires that plagued OSU several weeks ago, shortly before Thanksgiving. When asked whether an event like this had occurred before, Jim Patton, Battalion Fire Chief Sea Shift, replied, Not here on campus. There are additional boilers in the building, but it is unclear to what extent they were affected by the explosion at this point. Regardless, there will be no hot water on the OSU campus for six to eight hours. In all the chaos, there was only one victim. A heat plant employee tried to take out the fire alone. When firefighters arrived, they found him unconscious with an extinguisher in hand. Suffering from smoke inhalation, they quickly evacuated him to Good Samaritan Hospital. Current prognosis is that he will be fine, but the full extent of his injuries are unknown. Battalion Fire Chief Patton recommends individuals do not try to combat fires like this on their own. It's much safer just to dial 911. The damages of smoke inhalation can be potentially severe and or fatal. Once the building is fully cleared and deemed sufficiently safe, Oregon State investigators will work to determine the cause of the explosion. This is Trey Hearn Wells reporting for KBVR News Team Super Mega Best.